What is residential remote real estate investing? I'm glad you asked because I think that I always I keep forgetting not everybody knows what it means. Um, so I work, you know, I help my clients and myself to buy residential real estate, long-term rental properties, very, you know, far away from where we live. So I'm in California, Southern California these days. I used to live in Northern California. I used to live in Israel, right? And I started investing while I grew up in Israel. While I used to live in Tel Aviv as a young engineer, I bought my first rental property in outside of uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Talk about remote, right? So that's kind of the idea when I say remote investing, that's what comes into mind, right? You live in one area, one place of the world, one place of the country. Maybe that area is not necessarily attractive for investing in real estate, for being expensive or or rents are low. That doesn't mean you cannot go and invest somewhere else, you know? So when I lived in California, I continued investing in Phoenix, I've invested in Dallas, in Oklahoma, in Florida. Those those properties were a thousand to three thousand, four thousand miles away from where my where I live, where my presence is, and that never stopped me. The distance never stopped me from continue to, to this day continue investing. So that's the whole concept of doing it remotely or doing it, you know, from afar. So when you do that, when you say the remote real estate investing is that something that you are doing yourself or is that something to where you have people like for example somebody like me where i i'm like okay i'm going to give you money for your residential remote real estate uh real estate investing fund uh you know is it which one of the two is it exactly or is it both i do it myself for my own portfolio my own you know financial you know uh, wealth uh but when i do it not as a personal person as an investor when i work with clients I help them. I help. I help them facilitate the investment. So, if you really kind of refine the process, at the end of the day, you know, when we work to, when we, if we work together, David owns a rental property. You know, let's say in Tampa, Florida, or in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, right, or something along those lines. And regardless where you live, you know, regardless if you live nearby or very you know far away so you own that property so i'm not raising money into a fund i'm not taking your money and investing it for you uh, you know like uh, as if it's my money directly i am helping you facilitate that transaction um where to buy what to buy how to analyze who to work with who will manage who will solve issues and problems after you own that property because they will come up they will come up right so that's where we come in and we try to create a knowledge base and educational base, but also an execution. So it's not just theoretical, but you can actually go and execute and deploy on that knowledge, right? So it's about understanding and doing.